They don't see me. I'm in the fog of war. They're too busy fighting. See? <laughs> so here I am. I'm gonna cash this in right here. I'm too busy. And they actually... My team actually loses them, so... They're, they're gonna stop me from ending the game, but... I'm going to be able to take these towers. Yo, Volley Bear! Volley Bear! Let's go! Hey guys, welcome back to another Shine Baker video. We're gonna be explaining the Shine Baker playstyle. So this is a bot review, basically, of my, my gameplay. And I'm playing with a friend in uh, Flex Rank. So everyone in this is kind of uh, got a mix of people who are not even ranked yet. So it's obviously extremely low elo and players that don't really have a lot of skill. And you're going to see a lot of that in this game. Which is going to be perfect for me to explain my playstyle. So we're definitely going to be snowballing hard in this. Um, and uh, Kane here apparently uh, linked his Twitch stream. What's my E? Let's annoy them. Let's annoy them. <laughs> so we're going to play a, a little bit of that. And we'll hear what they have to say about my performance. But I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to be in for a surprise. But, um... We're against Darius, which is a classic top lane matchup. And Darius can be extremely hard. Now, I don't expect this player to be any good. He's not even ranked up. Um, so we're starting with E. And we got the Dorn's Ring. So we're looking for like the EQ combo uh, and try to get first blood. I don't know what Darius is doing here. He's gonna have to flash. There we go. We got the flash out of the way. Ignite. Ah, oh, he popped a potion. I might not kill him. But either way, he's forced to go back. I'm level two. I'm gonna hit level three. He's not even level 2. Yeah, he's not even level 2, so he's in a bad spot. He's probably going to heal up here and, and take forever to get back to lane. Yeah, Kane over here on this side. Take the first plate, which is going to give me quite a bit of gold. Again, you get caught in the combo, the Q and E, and now he's low. What is he going to do now? He has to go back again. Otherwise, I'm going to die from. So when you make trades uh, against Darius, there's, there's two things you want to do. Is when he uses his Q and his or his W or his pull, whatever it is, it's not his W, it's E. So basically, when he uses those two, you can go in on a trade on him because he's not going to be able to stack it fast. Should be able to chunk him down. I could. Oh, he pulled me there, so he fucked up. He's got Q and pull. 
He didn't land a Q, so why pull? So that was bad. I think the best combo that I've experienced against a really good Darius player is they would pull me first and they would get the slow, which is the W, I think. And then they would hit the Q and get like, you know, quite a bit of stacks already on me and I'm not able to do anything about it. So the pull is probably the most dangerous. So you got to avoid that. So that's why um, if they use the Q, you can get away with it, even if they pull you. And um, you can make a trade, because if they pull you and slow you, they can easily walk away. You won't be able to kill them. Um, so the pull is probably the most important on Darius. In terms of being able to get away and um, being able to stack. Oh, oh uh, no! Yo, yo, King, 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 King. I think I'm just gonna power dive, bro. Executed. Yeah. That was actually a really good play. The Lux was trying to avoid um, Rengar. Oh, so I picked up a Bambi. So at this point, I'm looking to build my mythic. Um, because with Darius, he's gonna build like Trinity, so he's gonna have a lot of movement speed, and what we want is Frostfire. We want to be able to slow his movement speed, keep him from, you know, kiting you out and hitting you with the cues all the time. We want to be able to stick close to him. He popped his ghost, like, got Ignite on him, I think, and he's dead again. Alright, we picked up a dragon. Good. I'm picking up plate, and what I'm doing here is I'm gonna proxy behind the tower. Because uh, Darius is level 5. So he's not gonna be able to do anything. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bait him towards, towards the tower, because I'm gonna dive him. Back up here a little. And then we're gonna die. Like that. And then I'm gonna pick up another plate. And then I'm gonna proxy the next wave. And you can see the CS difference here. It's huge. Uh, we got Renga over here. He's level 4. And I'm level 7. So there's nothing Renga can do. Except I am out of mana. So. But I don't, I don't know. He's not doing anything about it. Personally, I wouldn't, because it... I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm half health out of mana. He, he probably could. So you can see the runes here. I got Grap, Overgrowth, giving me quite a bit of health. My rune stats have health in it as well. So over the course of the game, you're getting stronger, and uh, you're going to deal more damage with Demolish the whole point of uh, the Shinebreaker playstyle. In second win, it's really good in the, in the top lane for making trades and, and healing in between your W. Fucking hate you. What the hell is Volley doing, bro? Still pretty confident for an antiquated lawnmower Look at him. Did you get it? When you heal from that as well. So it gives you great sustain. Dorn Swing gives you the mana. Um, and Nimbus Cloak is just really good with ghosts. It's kind of like a chem tank. It's just ramp up your speed. Cut that ghost uh, ramp up time. And, and just zoom right up. It catches enemies off guard. And ghost, you know, when you get a takedown, the, the duration continues. So that you're able to, you know, move on to the next target, get out of tower range, or, or, you know, just get out if you need to. So I got Frostfire, so Darius is in a lot of trouble right now. He, he doesn't even have an item, he's just he's working on moves first. So 
I'm just gonna walk past, and then I'm gonna get that plate with the demolish, and get the next wave. See, what I can do here is I can get multiple waves. If I put a ward there in case Rengar, you know, pops his head up here. But I don't think he will. So I'm just gonna sit here. You can see um, Darius here just <laughs> trying to catch the next wave. He's just gonna run low on health. He's out of mana already. And that's what you want to do. And I can dive him if I want to. I have my ult. I have Ignite and Ghost. So I'm just gonna chill here and just farm. Kind of keep an eye on Darius here. Let that tower drop a little bit lower. Wait, when did he say that? Oh, it's because he was AFK in the fucking... <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna die from here. Like, look at him, what is he doing? Like, he's being like a troll or some shit. Oh, but he's doing good, what the fuck? Bro, every lane is doing so good. Oh, what the hell? Uh-oh. Enemy team finally got a kill. Alright, so we take that. Uh, around the time that you want to, around level 8, level 9, you look to take down the first tower, and you, you look to have one item. Whether it's the Mythic or, like, Titanic. Uh, a lot of times I do go Titanic first, but since I'm against Darius, I really want to lock him down with the uh, boss fire. I pick up a steel caps. Normally, I would go for like boosts of uh, swifty or whatever um, for the extra movement speed to get the lane faster and just to chase them down and stick to them at all times. Um, but I take I take this be just to be annoying, just to have that damage reduction. Any boost can work. You can take cooldown boots. Um, Mercs, you can take that. Uh, what else? You can take sorcery boots if you wanted to. If you're building a, a little bit of AP, which I do in the late game. But overall, you want to take uh, steel caps, mercs, uh, Ionian cooldown boots, or Swifty. Those are like the best options. And it's just situational. Build whatever. So now we're focusing on uh, Titanic. So we're going to pick up this Rift. The Rift is the most important thing. Uh, on Volibear. The Shelly, you want to use that to take down uh, two towers, possibly more. And a lot of times I'm able to get the second tower, the gate tower, and the inhibitor. This is going to end the game early. <laughs> I'm going to run down to Darius. He popped his ghost. I'm just going to keep chasing him because I got nothing else to do. And Dragon's up. Gonna get this Rengar. So he can't. Rengar, there's no way they, they're gonna get the dragon. Dragon's free. So I'm just gonna go do that. Who cares about Darius? So Gathering Storm, uh. Gives you adaptive damage starting at 10 minutes of the game and throughout the whole game. So the later the game gets, the more damage you, you get. So right now I'm getting extra AD, which is what you want for the towers. Um, and eventually, like late game, uh, I pick up a Nashers, which will convert to AP. Which is really good for Nashers passive and also Volibear's passive. So really you're, you're utilizing the extra AP with the, the ult. Because it scales well off of um, AD and AP, converting to physical damage. But you're mostly using it for attack speed. It gives you 
the highest amount of attack speed because his passive scales off AP. Shut down. Um, and the main source of damage is Titanic. So when you're hitting those towers 100 miles an hour, <laughs> you know, you're, you're going to shred it down pretty good. On top of being as tanky as you are with Frostfire. And Frostfire, by the way, um, when you auto a tower, it, it um, puts a slow zone around it, which makes it easier for Bolly Bear when he dives in to, to kill the person that he's trying to kill. It's much easier to do. Rinko's going to try to kill me here. Bro, you got fucking Bolly Bear top, come on. I don't think he can. I picked a kill there. I could get Darius here, but there's no pressure. I'm waiting for my ult. I don't have it yet, so I'm just gonna take some uh, monsters. Take that blue buff. Yeah, I got my ult. There's no reason for me to go back. It's kind of a number one rule that I, I always say about this playstyle. If you have your ult, you can take tower. And, that, and kill anybody who tries to stop me. So we got the demolish. Right. Still have ult. We could keep going. I know Rengar is here. I'll try to get that. I can't see, so... Alright, I can go back. Pretty sure I can get item at this point. So we got Titanic, which is huge. It deals a lot of damage to uh, towers, but um, also per auto, so you don't require uh, ability haste as much. Um, ability haste is nice with Titanic for the Q and W, but overall your autos do a lot. So it's, it's mostly on hit. So you can get away with not having to kite out as much for your abilities. So that's what's great about Titanic. But the number one important thing about Titanic is his ult. So when the Bolly Bear gains HP with his, his ult, especially level 16, that's where you're, you have the highest amount on that, Titanic scales with that. So what happens when you ult, Titanic is giving your, your ult more damage. So it increases. So you get a bigger boom. And then not only that, during that time, the 12 seconds, your auto deals more damage to the towers, to the champions, and your Q and W as well. And um, your E scales off health uh, in AP, so that's why we build the Nashes in the late game. But all this health also gives it quite a bit of damage. Oh. Right, so we used our ult there, so we're just going to push. Try to take tower. Why does he not have a fucking bounty? Dude, look at fucking Volley. We got the uh, second rift coming up. Which is what you want. Because we're in a very good spot here. We're going to end the game with the second rift. Damn, that. Oh, damn! <laughs> What the fuck? What's going on? And boss fire, by the way, the mythic passive gives you 100 health for a legendary item. So we got one legendary item, Titanic. Titanic is, uh, what, 500 HP, I think? So you're, like, adding another 100 HP. And on top of overgrowth and your rune stats, you got health in there. That's a lot of HP. Going on to, uh, demolish and... You know, for autos. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna look to take the second whip. I don't want them to have it. I really don't. I, I need that. That would be the smart decision <laughs> to give it to a fed Bolly Bear. 
a lot of jungle is good. In some of my games, even like in, in gold, um, where I'm at currently, gold one, I'm trying to get the plat. Um, that's my goal for this year, or higher. We still got time. Um, but a lot of times I notice players don't give it to Volibear. They don't realize what the Volibear can do. But you always want to take that risk. back for item we got um, phase here which we're gonna build into hall baker which does uh, even more on hit damage to towers but most importantly what we're utilizing is the super minion buff so when you get the inhibitor in the top lane so what I'm doing here right now is I'm going bot the reason why is I'm trying to distract them from uh, you know stopping me taking towers in the bot lane but the moment I see them fighting I'm just gonna run past everything and dive right in and take the inhibitor with the whip. So that's my game plan here. And that's pretty much what you want to look for. Is the opportunity to stand the game fast while they're busy. You can see right now they're, they're busy fighting. Uh, going to fight. So they're all here. A-Ram style. So I'm going to take this tower. So I'm going to push this wave into the second tower. I'm just going to ignore it and just walk past uh, their mid tower and take the inhibitor. They don't see me. I'm in the fog of war. They're too busy fighting. See? <laughs> so here I am. I'm going to cash this in right here. They're too busy. And they actually... My team actually loses them, so they're they're gonna stop me from ending the game. But I'm going to be able to take these towers. Yo, Volley Bear, Volley Bear, let's go! Their fucking base. They go. Gonna really use the polish on the, on the uh, other yeah. tower here. Oh yeah. my god! I'm gonna look to kill this Darius. Where is bro? To fucking win. So we take all of that. Plus the Darius. Darius probably already used it all. He did, so he's not able to kill me. I'm, I'm dropping that distance back. I try to get out with the hex gate, but I don't think it's. I don't. Yeah, it's open. Just unlucky. I, I wasted my time <laughs> dancing there, but who cares? He took all of that. He took a tower in a bot lane. Dude, no way. I mean, we are helping. Like, we're helping, like, distract, distract the enemy so they don't come to him. Took the inhibitor and gold nexus power. That's a lot of gold. I got a hole breaker now. Is what you want to do in this situation is you want to go top because you have the uh, super minion. So whenever you take an inhibitor, that's the lane you want to be in. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to utilize that buff. But at this point in the game, it's time for Baron. Like, it's Baron is free. In fact,. They could have done that when I was, you know, working my way towards that inhibitor with the, the rift. But, you know, this is unranked players, so they're not going to know what to do. So this is, this is the Shinebreaker core right here. The Mythic, uh, Titanic, Hallbreaker. Those three items, you can end the game yourself. So, like, Mythic choice is really up to you. Crossfire allows you to get more HP on the smallest. It allows you to stick to people like a fucking frozen mallet. I don't think we should do this. Why not? Ah, it's fuck a it, good fuck time it. To do it. An old item that new players don't remember. But, um, you can go other mythic. There's, uh, Wind Maker, which is my second favorite. Uh, what else? There's Sunfire, Trinity. Trinity does tower damage. You're probably gonna get a lot of tower damage off of that. Um, but the downside is with Trinity is you're kind, of, you're kind of squishy, but you deal quite a bit of damage. So you gotta be careful not to get caught. Um, that's really it. But um, also Trinity is, is very expensive. There's uh, Divine, which is another expensive item, but you deal quite a bit of uh, percent health. 
So there's a lot of mythic awesome options that you can choose. It's really up to you. Situational sometimes, or unpleasant. But overall, those are your four items. Titanic, Hallbreaker. If you can even build those items straight up, and then get the mythic as a third item. It really depends on how fed you are in the game. So like this game, I was super fed. I could have built Titanic Hallbreaker right off the bat, and then get a, a mythic as a third item if I wanted to. But in some situations, like I mentioned with Darius, if you're facing a really good Darius, you want to be able to stick with them. Fire is really good for that. You can see I, I picked up a, a Blasting Wand, which builds in the, the Nashes. Another good AP item that I love to buy that a lot of people don't realize, uh, it de Demonic Embrace is another item that's very similar to Titanic, but AP. Um, basically scales off of health and HP, um, and that's really good for his ult. It increases the damage, so you get like two items that increase the ult damage. And not only that, the EOE damage, you're burning everybody down. So Demonic is a really good item. It gives you a decent amount of uh, attack speed on the passive. The reason why I go for Nashers is because Demonic won't scale AP off of the other storm because it's just not enough AP. Versus Nashers, you get quite a bit of AP enough for it to scale with a gathering storm. And not only that, you get way more attack speed in the game faster. Fucking with Bali, dog. Boom. And a, and a lot more Titanic auto. <laughs> I'm trying to end the game, but there's just too many here. That's fine. You know, that, that, this is just the price of your team just fighting and not realizing all they have to do is stall and keep them from going back. But whatever, it's all good. We're keeping them busy. So that's all we're looking for is the window to end the game. And I'm, I'm just going to go down mid. Since the uh, inhibitor spawned, I can't go. I don't have the super minions anymore, so it doesn't matter. So I can just go any lane, top, the bot lane, or mid lane. Still got some towers there standing. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> I don't know why he would do that. Dive in on three. That guy's entered. Darius over here. And they're all chasing or whatever. So my my other item option is really optional. Um, normally with like boost and wood piece, I would run dead man to get maximum speed so I can get to the lane faster. It travel all the way up to the Nexus Towers in the Fog of War. Um, and I, I take Dead Man so I can escape if I need to or waste the enemy's time from chasing me around. And it gives my team time to get the like, Baron or the Dragon while they're all focused on me. But you don't have to build Dead Man. It's optional. You can go Frozen Heart, you can go, you know, Tirak. There's all kinds of things on here. Womar. Whatever, whatever you see fit. I think we're ending it, bud. We finally won! Oh my god! It's, what matters is the core cool item is Titanic Hallbreaker and Mythic. That's really all that matters. So it's play style, getting all kinds of health, and healing that damage, and gathering storm over the course of the game. Especially if it gets extremely late. Um, a lot of times, you know. And there you go. Wham. Yeah, same. I don't like collecting <laughs> anymore. And, and a lot of times, you know, you can you can end the game early like this, 26 minutes or less. Uh, but there are games where you don't get the rifts. Uh, your jungle is just, you know, a dog, and and uh, you have to you have to wait for late game, get your items, and then end the game later. And at that point, that is usually where Nashers scale quite a bit with Gathering Storm. You're talking 30, 40 plus minutes of of gameplay there. Um, that, that Nashers actually comes in handy. 
And Baron Nash here gives you AP. That's one of the reasons why I, I play this way. With Gathering Storm, Nasher, Baron Nasher buff on top of the Hallbreaker buff and the Super, uh, you know, Canyon. And it just gives you a stronger E when you ult the Nexus Towers or, you know, when you're trying to end the game. You mean God? <laughs>